Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by AG1. I drink AG1 because it's a super easy morning ritual for me. I make a glass and drink it on my way to work. I don't think there's an easier way to get 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food source ingredients, and it helps put a little bit of consistency in my day. I'll show you just how easy it is to get to work, pull out a pack, we got a travel pack here, rip it open, and pour it into my AG1 cup. Pour it on in there, nice and easy. Like, don't wanna spill any of that goodness. Get a little bit of water. You know, I don't go crazy. I just fill her up about a third of the way or halfway. Toss the lid on it and come on over to your industrial lathe here. All right, we're gonna chuck her in there. Yeah, we just wanna make sure that's tight. Our bottle's got a couple scratches on it. Don't worry about that. Pull that out. Kick her into high gear. We're gonna wanna let this one mix for a little bit, you know what I mean? All right, that ought to do. Pull it on out. This might be the best mix one we've had yet. Pull it out of the lathe and give it a drink. Guys, if you want a serious energy boost and not have to worry about coffee or energy drinks, you want to support your gut health, healthy aging, balance your mood and immunity, you should really check out AG1. And if you visit my link, which is drinkag1.com slash Cletus, AG1 is offering a free one year supply of vitamin D and K to my community. Just got to use that link, drinkag1.com slash Cletus. Thanks to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. Let's get to the live action. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Cletus McFarland YouTube channel. All right, well, since we're back early, we're gonna fix this jet boat. We're gonna get the hook out of it, the hole. We're gonna flatten it out. We're gonna use this skid steer to make that happen. Oh, here we go, the old bobcat. Oh, watch out with this guy around. Oh, my Lanta. Man, this guy is rough on some stuff. I mean, he's full speed operation right now. Not gonna lie, he executed it very well. Where's <laughs> you know what the funniest thing I think I might have ever heard in my life is that when we shot the Ranger video, we told Alec that the AC doesn't work in this, so he sat in the heat <laughs> the whole heat. time. And like, I just looked down, the AC is off. So he's been using it for the last week. Well, I told him, I'm <laughs> like, it makes it overheat, dude. You can't yeah, run Yeah, then he asked me, he goes, is the skid steer overheating with the AC on? And I instantly knew in my head that one of you told him that. <laughs> and I go, yeah, dude, don't turn it on. He goes, he goes since when? Who yeah. was using that thing? He was like, what happened? The AC started making it overheat. <laughs> so the whole time he's been using it, ever yeah, since that video, there's no AC. <laughs> Just like the good old days. Four yeah. weeks ago, almost a month ago. <laughs> there you go, bud. Yeah, okay, all right. Oh, I feel it in the ground now. We just smash a hole through it. Straight line right across, dude. The bucket smacked the back the hardest. Yeah, the bucket slid off on that one. Any other boat would have been split in half, but here we probably got a dented bucket. It looks like it moved it pretty good. I was getting after it, dude. You were, yeah. You got after getting it. After it. Lost control. All right, well, we need a hook so we can pull that back up a little bit. Like the whole intake grain is like this to the bottom of the boat. Oh, is it? Yeah. So I just spoke the whole... It's probably majority of the issue, yeah. I mean, majority of the issue is look how the back is down. Angles so sharply down there. Right there. Ah, uh, that's one way to load your boat. As long as he doesn't uh, do boat that for after. That was perfect. 
Come on, do boat. Oh man. Definitely shooting a lot of water out of the front and sides. I don't know, I mean. I mean, I would help you, bud, but I can't get my feet wet, dude. I just got a pedicure. Ty, we figured it out. We gotta pull the motor. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need this engine where we're going. Mm -mm. Scrapyard? We are gonna pull this motor out and we are gonna <laughs> straighten the bottom of this boat. Once and for all. Once and for all. Now that we kinda know what we're doing. Yeah. All right, out comes the motor. Only in there for a couple of days. That's where our problem is. You can see Ty had a little hammer, yep. maybe even a big one, but evidently, just was not big enough. The real issue is, this is higher than the end there. So that needs to go down about two inches via something very strong and heavy hitting right on top of it. And if that goes like that, problems will be solved. Wait, are, you thinking, are you thinking we hit down on the actual front of the grate? On the grate, I think, yeah, that's where we're gonna want to aim. All right, so we got JH to uh, source us some equipment. And hey, listen, I had a little incident with the skid steer earlier. I kind of missed with the bucket. You called me and you're smashed like, hey. Smashed back of the boat, did you see uh, that? Yeah, I see the, the smashed aluminum. <laughs> you called me and I was like, what are you talking about? You have to what? Like, yeah. you're like, I need an excavator or something for my boat. Thanks for helping me out. So what did you do? What is going on here? I'm lost in what? It's hard to tell just looking in here, but the boat, the whole bottom of the boat is flat. Yeah. And then actually it's kinked right here. So it's like this. <laughs> All right, we're on to plan B. Is he gonna whack it? Well, he's kind of, he said he didn't really want to try to figure out how to do it without slamming it too hard. He's working it right now, is it doing anything? I mean, it's straight there, but it needs to go past that. Yeah. Tell him to keep going. Oh. One more. Oh, yeah. One more. Hang on, let me make sure. Oh, yeah. Looks better. You know, it's getting serious when the JP Racing guys come up, getting her dialed in. Yeah, I mean, almost done for the most part. Yeah, we just, uh, at this point, we just gotta wire it and okay. plumb it back together and it's good. Yeah, we, we went ahead and called the JP boys because we want it to be right. And if we do it, it might not be. It'd be about 80%. It's kind of crucial. It's kind of crucial. Because <laughs> we're gonna be in rapids. So we want the boat to be right. So no luckily, pressure. they drove up here and everything should be realigned. Then we're gonna go test it. Fingers crossed it works. Ladies and gentlemen, the dew boat is fixed. We are ready to go to Idaho. Just needed a couple pounds with the excavator. We got her up to 54, 55 mile an hour. So we gained uh, three mile an hour over yesterday. Still feels a little bit nose down, I'm not gonna lie, but overall, we're about five times better than we were when we started on this mission. But I don't know, that hole just might be forever messed up. You know what I mean? She, she might have to go to rest after Idaho, but we'll see. We'll see, maybe I'll bang it back into shape in Idaho, but we won't know till we're back. All right, I ain't going anywhere. 
Let's see. That ain't going anywhere. That ain't going anywhere. All right, guys, jet boats are loaded up and on their way to Idaho. Woo! Damn, we got the expansion kit. Dude, this is a setup and a half yeah. right here, man. I know. <laughs> James, no more going to the store, period. We used to have to go once out every hundred times. Looks like he shrunk our sign. Yeah, our sign does but look really smaller. Really, our bolting just grew that much. Jeez, so how, what did we gain here? Yeah, so we just added this fifth bolt bin, and what yeah. we did, we actually relabeled and reorganized everything, so it looks <laughs> brand new. It, was it a, looks immaculate. Yeah, it was a ton of work. So what we basically did is we added a full bin of sockets here. Ah. So these are all the sockets. You have your button heads, your alloys. Wow. All the stainless. Damn. Flathead. Shee wee. Sockets. And then, yeah, they have all the QR codes. So when you want to reorder, all you do is yeah. scan that QR code. Scan it up. One other thing it did for us, too, is if you look, bin four. Oh. Slot one. So oh, bin nice. four one goes here. So when we get our new stuff in, it'll say bin four, slot one, or yeah. bin two, slot 16 yeah and it just goes right back. that's what we love about this bolts and nuts system is when we're out of something we just scan it and reorder it instead of it just going empty and then being like what was in that bin it's pretty convenient these also here these are brand new you oh, are the yeah? first person to get these oh, and frick. what these are you've seen the smaller grab and go kits these are the yeah. bigger ones oh so when you open these, up, these things are huge Ooh. and yeah so these are the same Fancy. thing they just hold a lot more parts and these have our new vinyl kit cards so we yeah. no longer use the sticker paper we use the oh. plastic paper so it protects your kit cards from saturation of oil and things and whatnot and then you can just pick the whole thing up and take it if you need to they're a little heavy but yeah, yeah. you can pick them up <laughs> throw it in the back of your truck and yeah nice. you got a whole selection here Woo. So. we're dialed thanks yeah. so much man appreciate no it yeah thank you thank what you. a wall so sure. next year we just like we'll get rid of all that racking and we just Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> and then what we can even do. Yeah. We're going to go up and get yep. one of those library yeah. ladders. There you, you go. Know, like yeah, a library ladder. ladder. <laughs> get, on the slide, get the bolt from the top. You got cool. some real estate going up. Yeah. Really appreciate it, man. Yeah. No you know problem. we'll use it. Oh, definitely. Yeah, you guys use a lot of fasteners. And over time, we've added more stuff. And we just had to reorganize it for you because it was kind of getting all over. Yeah, so. it's looking amazing now. She is dialed in. Whew. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. New for the Wolf Frickin'. See you later.